Sigmund Esco Jackson better known as Jackie is an American singer notably known as a founding member of the Jackson Five, for which he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1997. Jackson is the second child of the Jackson family and the oldest Jackson's brother. Net Worth Jackie Jackson has a net worth of $200,000. Jackie Jackson earned his net worth as a member of the popular music group The Jackson Five and from his solo musical career. Awards and Honors The Jackson Five were a musical powerhouse, and their accomplishments are numerous. They won four NAACP Image Awards for Best Vocal Group, an award for strengthening Afro-Americans by the Organization of African Unity, and were honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. They were also inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the Vocal Group Hall of Fame. Two of their recordings, ABC and I Want You Back, are among the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's 500 songs that shaped rock and roll, and alongside I'll Be There, were also inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame. In other words, the Jackson 5 was one of the most successful and influential music groups of all time. They broke down barriers for black artists in the music industry and inspired generations of musicians with their innovative sound and electrifying performances. Their legacy is cemented in the annals of music history, and their music continues to be enjoyed by fans around the world. Early Life Jackie Jackson was born Sigmund Esco Jackson on May 4, 1951, at St. Mary's Mercy Hospital in Gary, Indiana, on his mother Catherine's 21st birthday. His grandfather, Samuel Jackson, gave him the nickname Jackie. He and his siblings, Michael, Marlon, Tito, Jermaine, Randy, Rebbe, Latoya, and Janet, grew up in a two-bedroom house in Gary, Indiana, a steel mill town south of Chicago. His father, Joseph Joe Jackson, worked in a steel mill during the day and played in an R&B band called the Falcons with his brother Luther at night. His mother, Catherine, a Jehovah's Witness, played the clarinet and piano. His father formed the singing group The Jackson Brothers, which included Jackie and his brothers Tito and Jermaine. Younger brothers Marlon and Michael played various percussion instruments. Joe Jackson had made Michael the lead singer of The Jackson Five by 1964 after Catherine Jackson discovered Michael's singing talent. The brothers rehearsed every day after school under Joe's strict guidance, staying busy and out of trouble. Joe saw their talent as a way to escape Gary, Indiana. Jackie Jackson credits his mother, saying, there wouldn't have been the Jackson Five without her. Catherine Jackson often sang harmonies with the brothers. Within two years, the group had emerged professionally as the Jackson Five, signing with Motown in 1968. Before signing with Motown, Jackie Jackson had wanted to pursue a career in professional baseball. However, Jackie Jackson's love of music ultimately won out, and he went on to become a key member of the Jackson Five, one of the most popular and successful music groups of all time. He served as a co-lead singer and helped to choreograph their iconic dance moves. Jackie Jackson's story is an inspiration to us all, showing that it is possible to achieve your dreams, no matter where you come from or what obstacles you face. He is a true role model for young people everywhere. Personal Life Jackie Jackson's Marriages and Children Jackie Jackson has been married three times and has four children. His first marriage was to Enid Adrian Spann in 1974, and they had two children together, Sigmund Esco, Siggy, Jackson Jr. and Brandy Jackson. The couple divorced in 1987. Jackson's second marriage was to Victoria Triggs in 2001, but they later divorced. In 2012, he married his third wife, Emily Besslink, and they had twins, Jalen and River Jackson. Jackson's personal life has been marked by both successes and challenges. In the 1980s, he had a highly publicized affair with pop star Paula Abdul. He was also in a relationship with actress Lela Rashan during that time. Jackson's first wife, Enid, died from a brain aneurysm in 1997. She had previously accused him of physical abuse. Despite the ups and downs in his personal life, Jackson has remained a successful musician and businessman. He continues to tour and perform with his brothers, and he is also involved in several other projects. Career Jackie Jackson's Vocal Evolution Jackie Jackson had the highest and lightest natural singing and speaking voice of all the Jackson brothers. 
He began his career in the Jackson 5 singing brief lead parts on hit singles like I Want You Back and ABC. After the Jackson 5 became the Jacksons in 1976, Jackie's role as a vocalist and songwriter increased. He added a lead vocal alongside Michael on their top 10 Epic single, Enjoy Yourself, and he also co-wrote six of the group's albums with Epic. Jackie's voice changed to a lower tenor vocal style during the Epic years. One of his most successful compositions, Can You Feel It, co-written with Michael, became an international hit in 1981. Jackie also began performing more lead vocals as Michael pursued a solo career. On their 1984 album Victory, Jackie performed lead on the song Wait and wrote the single Torture. In 1984, Jackie suffered a knee injury during rehearsals for the Victory Tour. He recovered well enough to perform on the last leg of shows in December 1984, where Michael announced he was leaving the group. In early 1985, Marlon left the group as well. Jackie, Tito, and Randy became session musicians, vocalists, and producers during this time. Jackie Jackson's vocal evolution is a testament to his talent and versatility as a singer and songwriter. He was able to adapt his voice to different styles and genres, and he played a key role in the success of the Jackson 5 and the Jacksons. The Jacksons in the late 1980s and beyond. In 1987, the Jacksons reunited to record the theme song for the film Burglar. The song was a minor hit in the US, but more successful in Belgium. The Jacksons also contributed backing vocals to the title track of Tramaine Hawkins's album, Freedom. In late 1988, the Jacksons released their final album, 2300, Jackson Street. The album failed to chart, despite the hit single, Nothing, That Compares to You. Randy did not participate in much of the album's promotion, leaving Jackie, Tito, and Jermaine to promote it mostly overseas. Afterward, each brother went into solo projects. In 1973, Jackie released his first solo album. In 1989, he released his second solo album, Be The One. The album was a minor hit, with the singles Stay and Cruisin' both charting on the R&B charts. In 2001, Jackie and his brothers reunited to perform at Michael's 30th anniversary special at Madison Square Garden. In 2002, Jackie founded two record companies, Jesco Records and Futurist Entertainment. His son Sigmund, Jr., known as DEALZ, released a mixtape on Jesco in 2007. In 2009, Jackie, Tito, Jermaine, and Marlon starred in the reality series The Jacksons, A Family Dynasty. In 2012, the quartet began their first tour since Victory in 1984. In 2017, Jackie signed EDM meets hip-hop musical duo Gold Lemonade to his label Critically Amused. He also signed artist DBL, a longtime friend of the Jackson family. Jackie Jackson has had a long and successful career, both as a member of the Jacksons and as a solo artist. He is a talented singer and songwriter, and he has made significant contributions to the world of music. Thank you for watching. For more content like this, subscribe and click on the bell notification.